Welcome, fellow survival enthusiasts. Today we're delving deep into the world of emergency preparedness, guided by none other than the American Red Cross. Who better to prepare us for emergencies than the leading humanitarian organization in the United States? On their website, they've compiled a list of 15 crucial items to have in your home, things that will prepare you for a range of natural and man-made disasters. Think forest fires, winter blackouts, or hurricanes. These items are your life Lifeline, your first line of defense in building a comprehensive emergency supply kit. Picture this, a widespread power outage leaves your community in darkness. And without electricity, card machines and ATMs become useless. That's where having a stash of cash in small denominations becomes crucial. In emergencies, cash can be your best friend, allowing you to buy essential items, barter with neighbors, or pay for services. Aim to always keep at least $1,000 in cash, safely tucked away for unexpected situations. Now, let's talk about an essential that might have never crossed your mind, wool blankets. These are not just ordinary blankets, they are your survival gear, your lifeline during a crisis. So why wool blankets specifically? It's because they are thick, warm, and versatile. During a winter blackout or any emergency situation, having wool blankets can provide that extra layer of insulation. They are also a wise investment for flood-prone areas. Keep an extra blanket on the second floor to safeguard against potential flooding. Next up, is a no-brainer water. Everyone needs a supply of clean, fresh water for emergencies. The Federal Emergency Management Agency recommends storing one gallon of water per person per day for at least three days. Consider investing in sturdy five-gallon containers to avoid water leakage. The American Red Cross goes a step further, suggesting having enough water for two full weeks at home in case you need to shelter in place due to contaminated water sources. Additionally, pack a portable three-day supply supply per person in case of evacuation scenarios. While you're at it, also stockpile some non-perishable foods. The Red Cross advises having a three-day supply of mobile non-perishable food for potential evacuation situations and a two-week supply at home for sheltering in place. Non-perishable foods are items that can be stored safely at room temperature for an extended period. This includes items such as canned goods, dried pasta, freeze-dried meals, and ramen noodles. Freeze-dried food kits are an excellent option for a shelf life of up to 25 years. Canned foods and ramen noodles are also practical choices, but it's crucial not to rely solely on them for extended periods due to their limited nutritional value. Let's shed some light on our fifth essential item, the flashlight. In times of power outages or low light situations, a reliable flashlight is your go-to hero. Flashlights come in various forms forms, with handheld ones being the most common. They are portable and easily stored in emergency kits. Handheld flashlights offer different brightness levels and features, like a strobe light mode for catching attention in emergencies. Another type is the headlamp flashlight, providing hands-free illumination, ideal for tasks like setting up a tent or cooking. They come in rechargeable or battery-operated models, and some even have water-resistant features for use in harsh weather conditions. Remember, having a flashlight in your emergency kit is always a bright idea. Now, let's talk about a device that often flies under the radar but is a true game changer, the hand crank radio. This compact device not only has replaceable or rechargeable batteries, but also a built-in flashlight. It's a beacon of light in extended power outages. The real star, though, is the emergency radio feature. Tune in for critical weather updates and emergency broadcasts. Some models even allow you to charge other devices like your cell phone, or additional flashlights, with various brands offering this life-saving equipment for as little as $30 to $40. It's a must-have in your emergency kit. This is one hidden gem many don't know about. Also, always make sure to stockpile extra batteries while you're at it. These little power-packed cylinders breathe life into your gadgets. But remember, stash them in a durable container on a high shelf to keep them secure from potential flooding. Streamline your gadgets to use the same type of batteries, making them easier to manage. Consider a central location, easily accessible to all family members. In an emergency, you don't want to play hide-and-seek with your batteries. Now, moving on to number eight, the humble yet crucial first 
first aid kit, often overlooked, but as crucial as anything else on the list. You don't need to overthink it. A general, ready-made first aid kit for your home is a great start. Consider having two, one in your emergency kit and another easily accessible elsewhere. It's like having your personal mini hospital at home, ready to attend to minor cuts and injuries. And don't forget about your medication. The Red Cross recommends having a seven-day supply, at the very least. Be proactive and refill your prescriptions before you run out, especially if a storm is predicted. Additionally, stockpile some generic medications like ibuprofen and melatonin for added peace of mind. The ninth item on the list is all about keeping things clean, sanitation items, extra toilet paper, paper towels, and wet wipes are essential for health and hygiene. Don't forget about extra toothbrushes and toothpaste. Imagine sheltering in place with friends or family during an emergency. A few extra dental care items can go a long way in ensuring everyone's comfort and cleanliness. You'd be surprised how affordable these items can be. A modest trip to your local dollar store can set you up with a starting point for your sanitation stockpile. And the best part? These items have incredible shelf lives, lasting up to five years or more. For a little peace of mind, buy a little extra of what you use every day and stash them in your emergency kit. Here's another important item to have in your emergency kit. Item number 10, essential documents. While we've been focusing on immediate survival needs, it's crucial not to overlook the aftermath of a crisis. Picture this, the storm has passed, the fire has settled, and now comes the process of rebuilding. Having copies of crucial documents is vital. Marriage certificates, insurance papers, property deeds, and medical records. These pieces of paper represent your life, and their loss can add complete complexity to an already challenging situation. Storing copies securely in your emergency kit is crucial. A Ziploc bag provides basic protection, but for an extra layer, consider a fireproof safe. This not only protects against fire damage, but also provides a secure place for day-to-day -day storage. It's a smart, preemptive step to make the rebuilding process significantly easier. In our digital world, ensuring you have a method to recharge your phone is critical, which is why the next item to stockpile is an extra cell phone charger. The importance lies not just in making emergency calls, but also in accessing essential information and staying connected with loved ones. An extra charger, preferably a portable one, provides a necessary lifeline. Consider a solar-powered charger for independence from the power grid. It's a reliable energy source even when traditional power methods fail. Remember, preparing for an emergency means taking care of immediate physical needs and ensuring communication and access to critical information facilitated by an extra cell phone charger. Another essential element many people forget about is having a list of emergency contacts readily available. This list should include phone numbers of local authorities, family and friends, as well as your family doctor and local hospital. In stressful situations, having these numbers easily accessible can save time and possibly lives. Print this information out, save it digitally, and ideally include it in the waterproof and fireproof container along with your essential documents. Don't forget to stockpile power banks as well. These compact, portable devices store electrical energy to charge smartphones, tablets, and other electronic devices. In situations where electricity is unavailable for extended periods, a fully charged power bank can keep your devices operational. It's wise to invest in a high-capacity power bank and regularly check and recharge it as part of your emergency preparedness routine. Store it in the same waterproof and fireproof container as your other essentials for easy accessibility during emergencies. Another creative item to save is local maps. Often overlooked but vital tools in emergencies, local maps can provide crucial assistance during evacuations or in locations without reliable internet service. Include road maps and topographical maps for detailed land landscape information. Keep these maps updated and store them in your waterproof and fireproof container for easy access when needed. The American Red Cross has the indispensable multi-tool as item 15 on their list. Imagine having an entire toolbox that fits right in your pocket. That's the magic of a multi-tool. Despite its small size, it's potent, incredibly useful, and can become your best friend in emergencies. From pliers to screwdrivers and a sharp knife, a multi-tool offers unmatched versatility. It's compact, convenient for everyday use, and a lifesaver in crisis situations. Investing in one for 
your emergency kit and perhaps another for your car can make a difference between life and death, especially when you need a tool quickly. If you're wondering why you would ever need to stockpile anything, check the video on screen now because you'll be taken aback by what the future might have in store for us due to artificial intelligence.